This is Amy Chapman for 12 for Puppy, and this is Pilaf. and welcome to Growing Up Guide Pub. Last week we introduced you to our brand new puppy, Pilaf. Well this week we're gonna let you know how our first week with her went and well, it didn't quite go as planned. So Pilaf's first day with us was a pretty big one and it didn't surprise us much that she spent most of it sleeping. But we were a little surprised that two hours after we fed her her first meal with us, she threw it right back up. Now on the morning of day two, we got her up, took her out to potty. She actually slept really well the first night. Did a little whining in the crate, but really not too bad. But unfortunately, once again, a couple hours after we fed her, she threw it back up. Throughout the day, she was acting like she was nauseous. And anytime she actually started to run around and play and act like a puppy, she would stop because she would start swallowing really hard and just really acted like she didn't feel well. Now because Pilaf's symptoms really weren't going away and not getting any better, it concerned me enough to take her into my work. Now lucky for us, I work at a veterinary emergency clinic and it's really easy for me to get my animals in and take x-rays and do whatever I need to do to see what's going on with them. Now her x-rays revealed that she had a lot of gas and fluid in her intestines and she was really irritated, which may explain why she was nauseated and vomiting. But there was still a concern that there may be a partial obstruction or something worse going on. So the next step was to confirm the findings with an ultrasound. Pilaf was a really good girl for her ultrasound. She laid on her back and allowed the doctor to run the probe all over her belly and take a look to see what was going on. Luckily, there was no obstruction. It was just fluid and gas-filled intestines and a lot of irritation. So we were prescribed some medication to give her for the next few days and see how she did. Pilaf was really easy to medicate. She took her medication without any problem and it seemed to help. So after a few days, she slowly started to feel a little bit better and started acting like a puppy again. Good girl. Yay. Good girl. Yes. So with every guide dog puppy we bring home, we need to introduce it to the other dogs of the household. Now last time when we brought Ricky home, we only had one dog to introduce her to. But since we decided to keep Ricky after she was career changed, we now have two dogs we needed to introduce Pilaf to. We decided to put the other two dogs outside to give them a little bit of space to roam and also to bring Pilaf outside because she just had a long car ride home and wish she had to go potty. Ricky and Eli were pretty anxious to meet the brand new addition to the family, so much so that they jumped up a little bit. So we had to keep them nice and calm so they didn't scare Pilaf because, well, we weren't quite sure how she was going to react to having two dogs right up in her face. So we tried to get Eli and Ricky both to sit and introduce them one at a time, where we've raked out some food rewards for both Ricky and Eli to keep them nice and calm and to let them know that the new puppy could be a really good thing. So the initial introductions went pretty good. All the dogs were pretty calm and mellow and seemed to like each other. So we're very hopeful that this will all work out because having three dogs is definitely more of a challenge than having two like we did last time. So we're happy to report that Pilaf is feeling much better. It took her a couple days and we're not quite sure exactly what caused this. It could have been the stress of coming to a new environment. We may never know, but the important thing is she's feeling better and doing great. So. Join us next time where hopefully we can see a little bit more of her personality as she adjusts to her new environment. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.